So, okay, so, so <laughs> when, when I'm bending my knee, okay, and I get my knee through, and we get, we get to this point, right? Um, I noticed, and we'll address it, like sometimes when you do this, instead of your knee popping through, his ankle just pops up, and you're like, well, coach, how do I go to my butterfly guard like this, you know? So, if his foot is here, I, I need, like, uh, leave your foot in the between my legs. Mm -hmm. Like his foot's like a staple almost, right? So I can't really get a butterfly hook. So in this case, I will take the quarter guard, you know, because it's the obvious. But a lot of times guys will try to avoid it. So they'll leave their, you know, like you're trying to do this and they're not like, yeah, exactly. So that's why you end up here, which kind of gives you the advantage on getting to this butterfly hook. Now, after I get the butterfly hook, you see my right elbow here. It's keeping some pressure. Next, what I'm gonna do is, my left elbow's in too. I'm not like bringing this elbow out. Keep my elbow in, and I can go under his armpit as I'm scooting. Instead of getting butterfly guard, I'm just gonna put my foot on the mat, and I'm gonna lift him up and above me. Now, now you, you kind of raised up, that was artificial. So, just stay down, yeah. So, I'm gonna move, you know, he could be hugging my neck right now, you know? So, I'm gonna move him up, and then you see how his knee slid forward? Once I'm here, I go under his leg, like this, here, and then now it's time to attack. So there's a couple different attacks we can do. One of them is to bring this leg in and go right into our ham sandwich. Okay, I can walk, and then notice I sharpen up my shin bone. Sharpen the shin bone by doing this, by, by dorsiflexing, and then you can lock and then uh, force it and get a, a submission on the back of his leg, right, on his hamstring. Um, other one is as you lift it up, if I tried to do this, but your leg stayed over here, yeah, you see that? He's keeping his foot away from me. I can take this hand and grab his ankle, and then I'm just gonna rock, and then put pressure and make a sweep out of this, okay? And, and get up like this. Once you guys end up here, don't stop your 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 you know, your roll, keep your roll going. So don't, don't stop and then let him get active. Keep some tension on this, drive your knee forward. And then we have passes that go this way, or the, the other one obvious is driving the knee and coming through and working through this way, okay? So both of those are good choices. So I think I'm showing a lot right now. So we're gonna, on this session, we'll stop with these two. I wasn't thinking about the ham sandwich, but it may be there, so knees are down. So again, if, if just that discussion on the closed side, if he's, if he's closing right here and, and it's before, see, I already got it, see, I got it. But if, if, if he cross faces me too much, I might be forced to turn my hip and go into the other side to do it on this side, okay? Now again, look at my, my elbow. I'm looking into the butterfly. And then again, he's trying to stay down on me. I'm gonna take this hand roll it right under his, I'm using the webbing of my thumb, right under his armpit, because I want to push him above me. My left frame, see I like how you are right now, because this is more realistic. He's staying close to me, he's staying tight. You know, he's not just posturing. So he's trying to smash, exactly. So now I'm gonna force him up and above, and then once I do that, you see the ankles here, okay? I bring this hand under this side, and then this leg, Either this ankle will go into here. See how that works? And sometimes you can do that without grabbing it. Like sometimes your legs are here, you lift it up, and he's trying to bend his leg just to keep it out. He might be trying to pass your guard even. And then you can just move to this side, and then as you bend, it slides his ankle into position, and then you lock around this hip joint and pull, okay? Or he knows that that's kind of there, so he just stomps his foot, grabs his ankle, and then to get this move, I rock and roll. Look, see that momentum? Up and down. And then as I go, I folded this leg. If you don't fold the leg, you'll sweep him, but you'll end up like this, okay? And you don't wanna end up with your own foot here because now you're in a, a fix right now. Like, we're both on our butts and it's a race to get to the top and it may not be that easy because now you've given up this base leg. So can you, I'm gonna shake and we'll get back up. 
So once you're here, look at what my left leg does. It folds under my, my, my bottom. So I rock and roll, and now it's here. Now wait, I'm on top, and we're ready to pass, okay? Come into this side, cradle the guy right here. This is good, all this is great, okay? If this side was getting shut down, like say this knee was starting to push into my chest, I'll leverage to make him straighten this knee. I'll leverage, boom, grab the opposite shoulder, and then we'll keep that pressure into an underpass and pass to this side. Okay, so let's get, not just get out of mount, but let's get right to the offense, get the sweep, or get a little ham sandwich if you're hungry, okay? Let's go, one, two, three. All right, guys, um, just teaching basic jujitsu, mount escaping is really important, but I think sometimes when you're a beginner, I was, I'm watching sometimes my, my white belts, like my beginners, when they get their quarter guard or half guard out of mountain escaping, they tend to just latch on and hold. And then so maybe they survive the whole round. They don't get tapped out. So it becomes a victory because they survive. A victory in a sense of like, wow, I didn't get tapped, I'm so happy. But then, so then now that they're happy with it, they, they hold onto the ankle or, or a half guard and they get smashed, they just get punished. And maybe they eventually do get their guard passed again and then get, now they're exhausted and they get tapped. So instead of just grabbing onto a half guard, although sometimes we, we're gonna do that, let's try to get to the butterfly hook. If we can get our butterfly hook out of our mount escape, I like it a lot more personally because now I can create a lot more activity, more off balancing. And through that off balancing, we can get back on the offense, sweep our opponent or maybe even submit them, okay? Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Teach me grappling. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.